So why Tesla? So I'm a little bit selfish here. Um, I like the latest tech. I'm, a, I'm an Apple fanboy. Um, I've always got to have the latest uh, phone. I like the watch, the laptop, the desktop, whatever it is. Um, currently, when it comes to cars, Tesla cars are technology wise just seem to be that little bit further ahead now of course there's all that story about the build quality and maybe the interior is not uh, as plush as others now of course we before we made the decision to move and actually buy a model x we did go out and we did test drive comparable cars so i'm not saying comparable as in terms of electricity we actually looked at diesel or petrol alternatives um now in the UK, uh, Model X is about one hundred and four thousand. Take off the uh, government grant off of that, it comes out to about ninety nine thousand for the one hundred D, which we've gone for. Now that's a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot of money for any car, and for us, it was a huge amount of money. So we had to be sure that the Model X was the right way to go. So we went and test drove um, the S Class. Um, I think if the S-Class was electric, I think we'd be in there now. Um, it's definitely gorgeous on the inside. It's a lovely car. It is spacious. Um, it is so comfortable and so easy to drive. But it was a diesel. And yes, it's good mileage for such a big car. But it's still not comparable. When you start looking at you're actually paying still the same price for the car. But you've also got to fill it up. That's where you start to really lose out on this. So that that was a, a known. We also looked at, of course, BMW 7 uh, Series. 7 Series, again, really nice. Not as nice as the S-Class. I'd actually say the S-Class had a little bit of edge on the 7 Series, um, which is actually quite surprising because I used to love BMWs, but actually I think they've fallen behind a little bit in their styles. Um, so, yeah, after driving both of those, sitting in both of those and really just getting to know those cars, we were both very much still sold on the Tesla. Um, and at that point, it wasn't necessarily the, the Tesla S or X. It, it was just Tesla as a car. Now, I would say for us, one of the big selling points of this, and, and I say this to other people um, and to yourselves, um, if you want to go out anywhere, if you want to take a long drive, if you want to... You know, for for us, we're based in, in Bristol in the UK. So for us, Wales um, is literally just over a bridge. You've got the beautiful mountains. You've got lovely scenery. For us to do that at the moment, we can do. We can do it in this car right now. Um, we get about 400 miles to a tank out of this car. But I've got to fill this car up. I've actually got to pay money to fill this car up. Now... It's not a huge amount of money. It's, um, I, because uh, of the type of car it is, I use premium fuel. Um, so we're looking at about, for a full tank, 75, 80 pounds. But 75, 80 pounds just to go out on a, just a day trip is a lot of money. You know, if we're really putting in the mileage, it's a lot of money. It could be like 30 pounds just for the one trip. In the Tesla, we can go out and do that trip for nothing. Um, they're still doing the free supercharging um, with the reference code, referral codes, which I'll put down at the bottom. That's actually ending on September the 16th, so you need to get onto that straight away. If you are interested in Teslas, get on it. But with the Tesla and the free supercharging, you know, we can just go charge up. I can stop at a service station, put full or 90% uh, charge in, and we can go off and do it. We can go off and actually enjoy a day out and not have to worry about the cost of it. I mean, obviously, there's, there's, you know, if you do finance, you have got those mileage limits and everything else. Um, but if you actually work out, if you do excess mileage, it actually works out all right. You're actually better off doing the excess mileage um, than putting in fuel. So to give you an example on the finance agreement I've agreed to, uh, my excess mileage, I've put down 15,000 miles a year. Um, I'm going to be using the car as a business car as well. Um, so I had to do that extra. But for 10,000 miles additional, so excess of 10,000 miles, it's only going to cost me 8p a mile. Now, 8p a mile, 10,000 miles, that's 800 pounds, that's British pounds, which actually, if you think about it, isn't a huge amount. 
if you worked out what that would be for a normal car then plus fuel and everything else that's a, that's a lot of money so for us actually to to literally go what well, let's go here let's go there it, it's going to be fantastic because we don't have to worry about that we're going to have it plugged in at home um, i'm going to be getting a zappy um, ev charger um, the reason for that is we have solar panels and hopefully in the long run we'll also have the tesla um, power wall too um, but for us, because we've got the solar panels, the Zappi allows us to harness when we are using minimal power in the house and making excess power on the solar panels and actually put that straight into the car. When we're using it within the house, then the Zappi won't take that away from us, so we won't use the, the mains as such. We'll only be using the solar. Now, obviously, we're in the UK, so we're not always going to have sun. So there are some times where I am going to have to still charge it at home off the mains. Um, but we are very local to a uh, supercharger station as well. Now, for anyone who doesn't know or hasn't seen the videos, there is this thing where they don't know where quite the limit is. But if you charge um, all the time on the superchargers, so the ones you get service stations, there does appear to be a limit of when you hit X amount of times, um, it will actually downgrade your battery. Um, and basically all that means is when you go to the superchargers, superchargers instead of putting in the full um, 100, 10, 120, whatever it is, um, it will actually downgrade that. Now, it's not going to cost you loads of time. I mean, at most, you're going to be sat there for an extra five minutes while it charges. So it's not the end of the world. You can you can continue to charge up on superchargers. That's absolutely fine. So another factor also, um, we like our cars. We like, we like quite a quick car. Um, and the Model X is obviously a, a, a quick car. I mean, it's not a quick car. <laughs> you could actually say it's a quick tank. Um, it is so big, but so quick for something so big. It's ridiculous. We're not going for the P100D. Um, that was even just too far. And it's too expensive as well. I mean, you're looking at 120,000 plus for that. And it's just, is it worth it for that extra bit of performance? Uh, if you're really into speed or if you're possibly looking to race it on a track, then yeah, possibly go for the P100D. Or if you've got enough money, um, then you go for the P100D. But really, the 100D, if you're doing long distance, it is it's perfect. Um, you can go smaller battery again if you're not looking to do real long distance driving, if you're mostly going to be doing town driving, <laughs> if you're going to be basically treating it as a Chelsea tractor. Um, for anyone not in the UK, that's basically a big 4x4. Um, then the smaller battery will be absolutely fine for you. There's no reason to go for the 100. Uh, but for us, because I do travel for work, the 100 is definitely a much better choice. So I hope you uh, like this first video. It's just purely the reasons why we went for the Model X. Um, it's our own choices. You know, everyone has their own decision-making uh, processes. You know, for us, it was the space. The fact it is fully electric and we can just go out anytime we want and have to worry about the cost because of the free supercharging at the moment. Um, the environment side of it is important to us. It's not the be or end all. Everything will go electric in the end, but to be on that bandwagon early, it feels good as well. Uh, the technology in the car for me is, is huge. I mean, I will be upgrading. I didn't buy it off the, uh, the initial order to actually get the autopilot. Um, it was just for me, it put the finance to a point where I didn't want to put the finance, but because I have the option to buy it later on, fantastic. You know, I'll buy that autopilot later on. Also, one thing to think about um, is if you place your order, you can change your order to another car already coming in. This is something I found out recently. So I, I placed an order for Model X, Dark Blue, the Premium, all this. And this was before Premium was standard as well. So I literally missed it by one day. Um, but if I suddenly go, oh, I don't want blue, I want another color, they can actually have a look at the stock coming into the country. And if one is coming in that matches your new specification, you can actually swap your order from that current one to the new one that's really great for flexibility because the order times are you know a couple of months you could in that time change your mind a little bit now of course it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get a different car because maybe one isn't coming in in the spec that you want or yeah everything is taken already um 
So you do have to be a little bit careful. You can't just go, oh, I'll order this and change my mind later. Um, if you do create a brand new order, you will forfeit your deposit. So you got to be a little bit careful on that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're really excited to get this car. Um, it, it's it's going to be a big change to, to the way we go out, really, and especially weekend trips and stuff. As I mentioned, September the 16th, they are changing the rules around referral codes. The referral code from that point will only give you one year's free supercharging. If you get your order in before September the 16th, you will have unlimited supercharging for the life of that car with you. That is a huge thing, a huge cost save, and that's why I did it as well. So if you use my referral code at the bottom, you will get that unlimited as long as it's before September the 16th. After that, you get a year's free. Fantastic. You know, it's still a whole year's supercharging. Um, and possibly by then, Tesla Lump might bring out another scheme as well. So um, I'll be bringing out some more videos as we go. Um, there's some things I want to cover off that I have tried to search myself um, on YouTube and I couldn't find the answers. So actually, when I get the car, I'm going to do some more videos to give those answers. Speak soon.